Hello, welcome back. Uh, this week I haven't done all that much, it feels like. Um, been having fun um, doing things with the kids, keeping track of just all the things that they're learning and doing. We've had multiple new teeth and uh, potty training with two of them, so it's been a busy a busy season right now, um, but we were able to go to the fair and show the kids a bunch of different animals and tractors and other fun things. Um, and uh, the weather's starting to cool down, which I'm wearing sweaters again, which I love wearing my fall sweaters, uh, which I mean, I wear them almost year round because of air conditioning, but uh, it's, it's extra nice when there's that fall chill in the air and you actually really need a sweater, especially if you go outside in the evening um, and the leaves are just starting to turn. It's It feels really early, but at the same time, part of me just loves the changing of the season. Um, so this week, uh, I haven't been doing a whole ton. Um, we do have mask mandates picking up again, so um, I have a stack of masks that I was going to make, um, I don't know how long ago, I cut these out a long time ago, um, I think when my youngest was still a newborn, so probably like a year, year or so ago, um, and never quite got around to finishing them because, um, because I didn't need a mask and because I already had a mask and um, because we started not needing masks as much and then the vaccine came out and then now we're back to needing them again. So I figured it's a great time to pull out some old old pile, old things. Actually, this is one, they were stashed in a box and the kids found it and were playing with them. And so you can thank my kids for reminding me of this unfinished project and I will um, hopefully get these. It'll, it'll, It'll be a very quick project. I just need to get the iron set up and then probably put a TV show or a podcast on and I just have a whole bunch of straight seams and then add some elastic to the edges and poof, I'll have, I don't know how many masks are in here, 15 or 20. So that'll be, that'll feel good to get those finished and then um, get them to whoever needs, needs more masks because apparently we all need them. But um, that is a great way to use scraps of fabric and you know pieces that you don't have enough of to make something bigger it's perfect uh and so there's there's that and then i'm planning um christmas projects so um making well, you saw the soap that i made and then um i have some bags planned to make and i also want to make some um sweatshirts for some of the kiddos so i'm going to use the bunny pattern from i still don't know how to pronounce the name I will put it the link down below I shared uh, some of the ones I made um, earlier this year the green striped one and the purple and white one that I painted the meerkat and the cat on um, and so the kids have loved those so much and other people have complimented them so frequently that I thought that would be a great pattern to use um, for several of the youngsters who um, would fit the pattern size and uh, um, would like to have a favorite animal painted on um, you know peeking out of the pocket. So I'm working on getting that pattern traced in the sizes I need and then choosing which fabric colors um, I want to use. And then I need to work on sketching out, you know, the different animals that um, each kid is gonna want. So that'll be what I'm working on next. And so this is a quick update today because there's not much that I've accomplished, just lots of plans for things that will happen soon, hopefully. And so, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you're able to find some time to be creative and to do new things. Um, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.